Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I had a request, came in on Twitter to play as Kane. It said, dude, why don't you play as Kane? I'm paraphrasing a little bit here with my own, you know, parlance. Why don't you play as Kane? It's been a hundred fucking centuries since your last Kane run. And I figured, you know what? I don't think it's been 10,000 years since my last Kane run, but it has been a while. And uh, it seems like we really end up doing Isaac, Samson, Isaac, Blue Baby, Isaac, Samson, Isaac, Eve, over... <clears throat> And over and over and over again. Sorry, I became uh, 80 years old there. Also, briefly, we had uh, Isaac almost crash there. That's okay. It's Spider Mod. I trust Spider Mod. It usually keeps the shit together. Not that the you know vanilla game doesn't either, but I you know there have been crashes occasionally. Isaac episodes on uh, the Steam version of the game have ended in a crash instead of in a uh, a conclusive victory or defeat. Sometimes that's better than the alternative, but that's okay. Now, we're fighting the Widow here. It really doesn't matter. Like, first floor is basically just like a training ground. You know, in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you get that, like, warm-up period at the start of every competitive match. That's what we're in right now. This is our warm-up period. If we get hit, no real consequences. Unless we die, in which case, you know, I'm mad because I'm bad, get good, casual scum, etc., etc. Mom's coin purse? No. Just HP. Just probably the single most valuable individual resource. Somebody up there doesn't like me. But Mom's Coin Purse might actually be... That was... Could have been better there. Uh, might actually be worse than an HP upgrade. Or it could be like several times better. Thought maybe we'd find a second secret room there. And then... You know the drill? Ah, I think I pushed it just a little bit too far. Occasionally those work out in your favor. But on the first floor... You're pretty unlikely to find the secret room anyway. So I'm not too concerned about the fact that I didn't get it right there. Alright. Double Spider may be the most difficult enemy that you can find on the first floor. Perhaps. I've never really thought about it all that much. The Polaroid is a trinket right off the bat. You know, it's better than nothing. It's uh, unlikely to help us out too much, but the way that it will help us out is in uh, allowing us to like play Blood Banks and Demon Judgments more, for the most part. Unless we get like a really early, I don't know, Guppy's Paw and we decide to go with it for whatever reason. Uh, I haven't really considered a situation in which that could be real, but I really hope we get two more cents on this floor. Hey, there we go. So now we have a chance to actually get an arcade on the next floor. This is a pretty huge first floor as well, but uh, it, now we have a chance to get an arcade on the next floor, and if we get an arcade on the next floor, maybe uh, if we get a spirit heart along with it somehow, we uh, can get some permanent Polaroid invincibility for the uh, blood bag, and that gives us a very good chance to get the blood bag payout. We'll see though, we finally found our item room. I don't know, man. Maybe we'll actually get enough money to make the, the secret room worthwhile on this floor. Probably not without the secret room. And look, I know the, the negatives of the sack of pennies, but I'm going to take it anyway. If I had a reroll, I would use it. But uh, I think generally it's worth taking. If it gives us like one or half of a shop item. Oh, crap. Yeah, that blew that one. Should have really just shot the TNT. Uh, if it gives us one shop item or half of a shop item by itself, uh, then I think it's worth the risk and the, the risk is really not that significant it's just the risk that you know we'll get the relic and it'll make it pay out less often might be the miter but people when i said it was the miter people yelled at me and they said it was the relic even though it doesn't make sense to me because i thought the relic paid out on a, a set interval that's okay in a, kind of a rare turn of events i'm going to look for the secret room with five bombs okay it was there and we have enough money to make our shop worthwhile that was kind of unexpected Normally, the secret room on the first floor remains uh, a little hidden. So I am excited to have found it so early and then have enough money to get something from the shop. And it's the nun's habit, which is great. And I don't think I need any more red hearts. Probably. Nun's habit's not doing too much for us without a, a spacebar item, but it's great for the future. Could have bought the spirit heart instead and given us a good chance of getting a deal with the devil. But obviously, my hope is that I have a good chance of getting the deal with the devil regardless. And wow, that is uh, pretty much enough money to go to the shop again. And I'm not sure what I would be on the lookout for, but I'd be, uh... There's a lot of things I'd be happy to take, let's put it that way. There's no good space bar items in the shop except Blue Candle, which doesn't really benefit from Nun's Habit. But at the same time, I think it would be stupid not to get Blue Candle right now, even if Nun's Habit doesn't help us out. You know, Nun's Habit is useful, but if it ends up not being useful because we have an item that's, you know, offensively amazing and recharges itself automatically, so be it. I really think that... Blue Candle, I, I hope it doesn't happen because I love the item so much when I, you know, situationally need to use it. Uh, but I really think it needs to be nerfed to what, like, 
the bean or the poop is, or what the bean used to be, I guess I should say. I think it needs to be, uh, you can only use it once on a, like once per room. That would make it uh, a little bit simpler. Hey man, this judgment is actually pretty awesome. Why does it seem that so often we end up fighting Gertie Effin Jr. when I need to not take damage? This is actually a very risky fight. Not just because I don't want to take damage, but because, uh, careful here. Uh, because I could actually take enough damage to die. So it's not just a deal with the devil consideration here. This guy is just a, a real freaking jerk and could cause me some substantial problems here. Kill your own fly, please. You know the, the new strat, you know, Mark II strat for Gertie Jr. You just stand, like, parallel to him. That way he always bounces off the wall in a predictable fashion. Otherwise he can get some weird kind of, you know, reflection going on. Oh man, that was close. Is it just me or does he start going a little faster as things go on too? Anyway, deal with the devil, we made it. Judgment, not a demon judgment, that's, uh, I'm very thankful for that. Let's see what we get for free. Just gonna shoot these just in case there's some money. I am spending a lot on uh, this judgment. Could be an arcade on this floor too, you never know. Alright, I appreciate that. I'm gonna need that. That speed upgrade I'm not super stoked about. Okay, can't really do anything with that. If I don't get a payout with 16 cents, I'm gonna be real salty about this situation. There we go. Ah, so we got Lord of the Pit. Lord of the Pit means that I... Uh, don't need to get Spirit of the Night here. So we could either... It, it's a bit of a tricky situation. I don't really want to get Guppy's Paw. Even though we have the Polaroid already, I, I kind of just take that out of the equation because we were going to have the Polaroid regardless. By the time we beat Mom, of course. Um, am I, do I want to carry Guppy's Paw for this length of time? Not really. But at the same time, I do want to keep a deal with the Devil Precedent. So I think I'm going to take Guppy's Paw and I'm just not going to use it. So I'm basically trading one red heart for like the privilege of having deals with the devil in the future instead of deals with the angel. Um, not that deals with the angel are bad, you know, there's some really, really great deal with the angel options, but uh, I, I kind of prefer the deal with the devil track. Might be able to get enough money to get to our, uh, our shop here. Not totally sure, there's a very interesting deal with the devil kind of conundrum there. Normally, it's a little bit of a simpler situation. Of course, this does give us the chance to become Guppy, which is also exciting. And there you go, basically. I'm going to be giving up uh, Guppy's Paw for uh, Book of Shadows. And I'm not going to be using it in the uh, in the interim period, either. Even though we do have the Polaroid early. So Book of Shadows with Nun's Habit seems super useful, especially for things like Blood Bank, so we can swing that in the future. Secret Room should be here. It is. There's not very much money on it. And we'll put this down here. See if there's anything in here we can get. No, we can get a spirit heart. And honestly, I actually think that a spirit heart might be the right play. I know it's a little expensive and, you know, we weren't going to get to the map anyway. Let's put it that way, but I'm just looking to see. There's only like three different possibilities for a second secret room. So let's try here. Oh, yes. There were more than three, but not many more. And that is uh, that's a free HP upgrade, which feels real good. So, it might seem like I made a terrible mistake there taking Guppy's Paw, but I th that's working as intended. I'm happier to have a spacebar item which I can actually use uh, in, in Book of Shadows. The main reason I took Guppy's Paw, ensure deals with the devil for the future, and maybe there's a chance to become... Hey, maybe there's a chance to become Guppy, who knows. So, I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this went down. Not gonna be an arcade on this floor, so we should have uh, multiple opportunities to use Book of Shadows, if I had to guess. Uh, and still still have it for the boss room. Okie dokie. Plenty of money dropping already. Back to full HP as well. Ipecac. Yeah. Super stoked. Uh, we haven't had Ipecac in a long time. It's a very scary item. But it's also uh, an extremely useful item. One of the most powerful items individually in the game. Uh, no question about it. Wow, uh, that is, that's some money right there. Maybe we can get something that makes Book of Shadows even better. Uh, we have the Steam Sale. I'm gonna buy it, honestly. And I'm gonna buy the key as well. I'm not gonna buy the Spirit Heart or the Tarot card. Bought the key just so we, you know, we can go to the shop on the next floor, basically. With no other choices uh, in that room, I figured why not get the Steam Sale. Makes it so it's not gonna show up later. 
key might have been an overly aggressive purchase, but hey, it just gave us a speed upgrade. I'm not sure if I should feel better or worse about that. Judas Tongue beats the Polaroid for us here and will give us some cheap deals with the devil in the future, in all likelihood. Now, uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say this is a one... What am I thinking? I wouldn't go so far as to say this is a uh, one run yet, but it's we're getting closer to it. We're not too far away. Yeah, this... Uh, I don't like this. So I'm trying to just simplify this room time by time. Time after time, I guess I should say. Missed a great chance for a Cindy Lauper reference there. I'll never forgive myself. Um, I'm surprised we got out of that spider room without taking damage. I really did not think that that would be possible. Second secret room shows up. I hope it's another Eternal Heart, of course. I doubt it is, but... You know, that is probably like the second most common payout from a room like that. Uh, it's a fortune teller. So you actually, you know what? I'm gonna blow it up. Yeah, thought maybe we'd get a spirit heart out of it or something like that. Book of Shadows plus Ipecac is a great combination, says G Informed Gamer. No, but sincerely, like, it's really good for us, uh, because it basically makes us immune to our own shots, which is pretty risky sometimes, or can be pretty risky sometimes. So we're gonna come back, and this floor is a very simple one. We've already pretty much solved it. Come into the curse room, see if maybe there's a guppy item. There's not. And then we'll go back to the shop and I'll buy the spirit heart because again, a big crux of my plan, especially now that I have Judas Tongue, is making sure that I can get these deals with the devil over and over and over and again. Uh, again, with Book of Shadows and Nun's Habit, I'm pretty psyched about the possibility of having a blood bank on the next floor. I think it should be super likely. Let's get back to full health and then head down to what I hope is uh, Caves 2. It is. All right. This should be even easier. Really? I have to be kind of careful uh, with Ipecac on this room. Because it's really easy to uh, hit a rock accidentally. Seriously, come on now. There we go. Again, surprisingly not as easy as you might think. Or maybe I'm just bad with Ipecac, but it, you know, pays to be careful. Mm, I will... Ah, uh, we might as well just go through with it, right? What's the point? I'll pop Book of Shadows quickly. I can't remember what the uh, enemies are on the Caves Mob Trap Room. I think maybe it ends with turrets, in which case, you know, I'm happy with using Book of Shadows when I did. Good. Oh, that didn't hit. Sometimes you gotta add, like, a bit of an unnecessary diagonal into your shots in order to kind of curtail their range a little bit. Like, one of the things I guess I have to watch out for is not getting range upgrades, or at least not getting too many range upgrades, because right now our our shot length is pretty much perfect. That can change, though. That was really good. Alright, this is, uh, well, probably the most value- oh, how did I shoot that behind me? I was, like, traveling so fast backwards that it just, uh, oh man, second secret room, super likely. Or, super, uh, prevalent. Super lucky, maybe that's what I was going for. Crack the sky, uh, pretty bad. Book of Shadows, substantially better, even with Nun's Habit, even especially, however you want to frame that one. So I'm just gonna keep, uh, shooting up here. Should be able to take out Gertie before, uh, my invincibility runs out, but it's gonna be a little close. The fight's not gonna be close, but the, that was close. Really? I thought we did a little bit better than that. What do you got going on over there, Cats? Ruka? Cats in the in the closet and close the door behind itself and then it's mad at me. It's like, why'd you lock me in? I didn't lock you in the closet, cat. Your own curiosity put you in there and then your memory gave you, like, retrograde amnesia. Okay. I had a feeling we would probably end up fighting Greed at some point. If he can't drop the steam sale, I'm pretty sure he doesn't just drop, like, a random shop item. If he's gonna drop an item, he just drops the money instead. Which is fine. Uh, doesn't really bother me. Although I would have preferred there to be an item in there, for sure. Really, at this point, we're looking for compass. Nine volts, I mean, we're, we're already getting Book of Shadows so quickly that it doesn't really matter. I think, at least. You may disagree. Maybe up to 32 cents, and there is an arcade. I'm very, very excited about that. That was awful damage on my part. As always, uh, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Probably don't run into Isla Sue's traps right off the bat. Rarely is that going to be a strategy that's going to have winning results for you. There we go. Thank you, Sister Maggie, for dealing the uh, initial blow there. All right. 
So Book of Shadows, we play like crazy. The money is gonna be nuts. If only we had some kind of key trinket, like a flat penny, or even bloody penny, which is also great. Gotta be a little careful, because we can hurt ourselves pretty easily. Uh, or we can get ourselves killed pretty easily, I should say. But hey, we got uh, the IV bag to pay out quickly. Does it suck? Yeah, it kinda sucks. Because we would have loved to have had blood bag instead, but whatever. This is a spirit heart. I'm gonna take it right away. Judas tongue is still better than the fish head, even though the fish head would have given us an F ton of flies. For that, uh... That in- OH NO! I just instinctively shot as soon as I entered the room. Bad idea. Cost us probably an HP plus speed upgrade there. Really? The secret room's not here? There might not be a secret room on this floor, or it might be hidden maybe below the mob trap room? Really? Alright. Well, we've had some good luck, some not so good luck, but overall this run is uh, very, very strong. We checked there, we can see by the bomb, you know, explosion marks. Nothing there. Did I check? I checked the room adjacent to that, so I'm starting to think that maybe there's just no secret room on this floor. It does happen. I'm not going to take the range upgrade because I'm very happy with our current range. A range upgrade, uh... uh as, a uh, With Ipecac, is pretty much just... You know, where do you want your shots to land? I'm very content with where I, shot, I want my shots to land. I don't think we need to adjust the artillery tables just yet. Now. We did get a Hermit card. Uh, I kind of... I didn't really mention whether or not that was great. But it's kind of great because... It does mean that we can do the, you know, potential deal with the devil thing on the next floor, and also it saves us a key on the next floor. We may or may not need it, and we may or may not take advantage of that, you know, the secondary benefit of having an extra key, but we'll see. You never know. Depths Par 1 with Ipecac should be pretty much a cakewalk here. We're already going to be on our boss fight with uh, Book of Shadows ready to go. Thankfully, we've got really high speed, so we can get into a good shooting position on these guys early. And it's gonna be Monstro 2. It's gonna be Monstro 2. So I was an idiot there. I tried to press space, didn't quite press it quickly enough, and uh, one of the flies hit me. But I didn't take red hard damage, just regular old uh, spirit hard damage. So I'm just trying to make sure he still shoots at us. There we go. Finally, we have gotten our deal with the devil back. And it's uh, Book of Belial and Guppy's Tail, so I really kind of regret taking Guppy's Paw now, because we can't take Guppy's Tail. We could take Book of Belial, but I don't think there's any point in it. So we'll explore the rest of the floor before we pick up this Eternal Heart. So the game, despite giving us Ipecac, has not made it easy on us here with, um, you know, no-brainer deal with the devil choices. I'm not sure what I was thinking on that one. I was thinking, I've got to get this coffee inside of my body, and I'm not going to look at the screen for a second, and that, um, it had a negative impact on things. One left. Direct hit. The money is nuts. If we could just get, uh, money equals power, that would be great. I feel like I say that a lot. But especially, I think, since I've started playing Blood Banks a lot more often. Not that that's a recent revelation, that's, you know, something that has been true for, like, uh, probably six months now, if not more. Um, but anyway, second secret room. Uh, I know we can get spirit hearts here, but I'm just gonna blow it up instead. Saves us some time. Uh, but yeah, I think that's really contributed to really, really commonly getting a lot of money. Ruka, it's okay, buddy. I'll let you out in a second. This guy, just, his neck just got too big. I wish that cats could understand English sometimes. I just want to tell you, you know, you're, you're alright. I can understand your, your concerns because you don't have thumbs, you can't open door handles for yourself. I would like you to recall that you were the the animal that, you know, you're the, the party that got us in here in the first place. I wanted to go record and you said, no, please stick with me. And I said, okay, you, you can watch me record and then here we are. Gotta take out these flies and then... 10 extra bombs, pretty much worthless. Probably only like four rooms left, less actually. We're gonna be at 67 cents, I'm totally gonna open that. Extra keys. Ruka, I'm gonna need you to chill out for just a second, buddy. This is like that scene in, uh, The King of Kong. Steve Weeby's, like, setting the Donkey Kong Jr. high score, and then, uh, you know, his son, like, comes in and is like, Daddy! I pooped! And then he's like, oh, fuck, really? I just want one second of peace and quiet to myself, playing Donkey Kong Jr. four hours a day, and this little shit's gotta tell me he poops. Everybody poops, man. Haven't you listened to the R.E.M. song? 
All right, one second. Ruka, what's your problem, buddy? What's your problem? Escape. You did it. All right, I have returned. Occasionally, I have uh, people that comment and they go, Northern Lion, it's really unprofessional that you have your uh, your cats occasionally making appearances in your videos. What do you think I am, the goddamn Beastmaster? I can't just, uh, you know, control their every thought and action. And people are always like, you know, lock them in another room or something before you start recording. I record like eight hours a day, that's terrible torture for a cat, you know? Just being by, it's lonesome for that long. You know, when you, uh, when you get a, a life, you're, you become the caretaker of a life, whether you're a parent or a, uh, a pet owner or what have you. Really, no secret room here either, unless I'm an idiot. Um, you, you, uh, you give up your right to, uh, a few things, and one of those things is definitely, you know, like 100% peace and quiet. Even with a cat, man, cats are relatively quiet, but, uh, you gotta take advantage, you gotta take, uh, control of their needs, or you've gotta, you know... Take care of their needs, is what I meant to say, um, before you really worry about your own, because they can't do it for themselves. They rely on you for that. Now, it's easier said than done, because I'm dealing with uh, cats and not children. If I had children who are substantially more annoying, no offense to the children or parents out there, um, but, you know, it's a lot more work to, to raise a child than it is to take care of a, an individual that pretty much just requires, like, a cup of dry food every single day uh, and a little bit of love but yeah um, I, I'm privileged to be able to say that because I don't have children so na na boo boo all right M and seriously mad respect for the parents out there doing things right raising the next generation I want to give you uh, I want to give you a sobering tale and that's no matter how good you are as parents there will be times when your kids are shitty and I say that because you know I'm, I'm a young adult I remember being a, a kid, 13, 14, 15, around that age, and I had, I was brought up really, really well. I had, I had a lot of advantages, uh, my parents were great people, not uh, overly disciplinarian. We're gonna stick with Polaroid just in case something goes wrong here, but I will take this. Um, and you know, just really kind parents, pretty much, and uh, still, there were some times when I was like a total shithead. So just know that just because your kid's a shithead, doesn't mean that you did a bad job. Everybody's a shithead, they just have to get over it at some point in their lives. If they never get over it, that still doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad parent, but maybe at that point it's time for some self-reflection. But if they're, if your kid's like, four, no offense again to the 14 year olds out there, I've been there, I'm telling you, I'm not saying 14 year olds are shitheads, I'm saying sometimes at 14 you can be a shithead. And you might think that you're not a shithead right now, but sometimes you're gonna do that. I'm, I'm 25. It's not like I'm never a shithead, there are still times when, like, six months down the road, I have a horrible flashback of something I did six months ago, and I'm like, man, I'm kind of a shithead. It, it happens, it's a necessary part of self-reflection. But anyway, that's all I'm trying to say, is, uh, if, if you're a parent right now, remember that at some point in the future, if your child disappoints you. Everybody's a shithead sometimes, it's like that Beck song. Everyone's a douchebag sometimes. It might be a cover of a Harry Nilsson song. See, look, I'm a shithead right there. Giving Beck credit for Harry Nilsson songs. What am I doing with my life? All right, you know what? Book of Shadows. You, you brought this on yourself, Chubb. You brought this pain on yourself. We still need to not take red hard damage if we're gonna uh, have a good chance at our deal with the devil on this floor. Yeah, Halo of Flies is probably, uh, you know, an A tier item. It's not an S tier item, but an A tier item with, uh, with Ipecac. Keeps some other jerk-offs from getting too close to us. Pills are good as Kane. Bombs are key. Sure, that's actually fine. I really can't believe that that's our first pill. I think that's the first pill we've had all run. Oh, we've already seen our secret room. That's that's my mistake there, isn't it? So we're just gonna see if mayhaps there is a, an arcade, which there is, and there's another... Oh, what is wrong with me? There's another blood bank as well. You know what? Can't be trusted with this Ipecac. It's a, hopefully a relatively minor mistake. There's lots of red hearts available for us on this floor, so I'm not too concerned about uh, you know getting low on HP. We've also already killed our boss, 
We may want to go to the boss trap room. We may not. I don't know. Depends. Like, if we had spirit hearts, I would I would be much more open to it. If this doesn't pay out, it'll actually be like... There could be 40 or 50 cents on the ground. Which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, especially since we can't get any benefit out of it, but... Hey, there we go. So we're not going to the... Uh, we're not going to the... No, I don't want to... I don't care about uh, Fly Love. Careful, probably don't want to just shoot like that. Uh, we could go to the curse room, but again, I really want to see if we can get a deal with the devil. Via this uh, hermit card that I used. We can't. Now I'll go to the curse room. Bit of a convoluted floor here, but I think you understand where I was... Uh, or, well, what my actions were as time went on here. So... We'll check out our curse room quickly. Still a chance to become Guppy. But every single curse room so far has been Trash City. Allow me to recaffeinate as we get ready to head to the uh, second half of the game. And how are we set up right now? We're pretty good. Not to toot our own horn, but 6 HP is not a ton. But our damage is really, really good. And our spacebar item is, like, very much uh, a, a good match for our, uh, our tiers right now. Normally, like, there's very few situations in Isaac where something being a good match is better than an item just being good. But Book of Shadows is good in its own right. I think it kind of gets a bum rap. Like, after you unlock Isaac, you're like, why would I ever use anything but the D6? But Book of Shadows, man, it has some, uh, it has some merits of its own. This is always a bit of a tricky room. Not really concerned with the fly in the middle, but... Uh, was concerned with the, uh turrets, which can shoot you so quickly that uh, you, know, you don't really have a chance to get it going. And that's okay, there's red hearts on the ground here. Many, many red hearts on the ground here. That was lucky. That was really stupid. That's okay. And I know, like, you can min-max here with Ipecac, and you can shoot all the rocks, and you can try to find... Uh, Secret tinted rocks or you know your second secret room or your regular secret room for that matter I don't do all that stuff unless things are like really really dire Mostly because I you know place a I place a premium on my own time And I place a look at these backwards shots. That's crazy. I place a premium on your time as well You know you you don't need to see me do all that if we're just gonna win anyway some of you might like to those of you who uh, would like to see that, I'm not going to say that you're weird, but uh, my my mindset doesn't uh, necessarily line with yours. I'll line with yours, I should say. Seriously, I don't think we're going to get a deal with the devil or an angel here, but I would very much like to. Nope, we got an HP upgrade though. And the shot speed upgrade, eh, doesn't really bother me. Down to the next floor. Sure. We can automatically save one red heart. Well, not spend one red heart by uh, using Book of Shadows properly. Always impressed with the amount of HP those guts have. Really have to be careful doing like a backwards shot. You kind of have to wait for your momentum to dissipate a little bit. Because if it stays high, then you uh, find yourself in a bit of a difficult position. You can accidentally shoot backwards and cause yourself a real issue. So, gotta remember, we're not in Community Remix. We've been playing a lot of Community Remix lately because my Isaac backlog has been big. My Community Remix backlog has been a little bit smaller. Um, that means we do need to choose the proper door, which is the Cathedral. You have a choice in Community Remix now, in case you have, well, I guess those episodes are going to be going up today, probably. But, yeah, you have a choice now. Uh, in, or you don't have a choice in Community Remixes, sorry, is what I meant to say. Uh, you, you pretty much just go Cathedral, then Shoal, then the, uh, the chest. Whereas in this, you gotta choose properly, which, of course, you all know, because you've played Isaac a lot. And so have I, uh, but, you know, just gotta make sure that we're doing things properly here. Don't want the Cancer Trinket. Just wanted to get in position to try that, and it totally worked, and it's Samson's Lock, which is a, a decent trinket that's not very good for us right now. Because there are no trinkets that are good for us right now, except the Polaroid. Unless we have Mom's Purse, which we don't. I'm a little disappointed with our kind of shop payout on this run. Lots of money, but uh, we didn't really get anything that useful, except for Nun's Habit. Which is super useful, but... Ooh, spider Bite, does that work with Ipecac? Uh But yeah, we I, in volume, we kind of uh, missed out. Oh. Try... Uh, 
this and this okay wow I really did not think uh, that this would be a dead end I was fully convinced that this would be the end of the map but in a different way we would find mom's heart who should be by the way like the easiest boss fight you could possibly imagine right now sometimes these ipecac shots don't work properly if they like bounce off of a, a terminal wall I don't know why that is but that's okay bombs are key it's worthwhile to keep with us for the future I suppose who knows if maybe we'll need uh, you know 41 keys because I'm probably not gonna be using bombs anytime soon unless we run into like a, a lust but even you know if we run into lust our speed is high enough that we shouldn't be really in that much of a risk risky position either way all right bit of a tiresome room there hey we still have a spirit art backing us up all right let's do this that shot lands that shot does not land which means we do a second pass and same shit there we go all right now is the moment of truth just got to make sure the shots actually land in sync with when enemies spawn monstro is what slows this this whole shebang down once monstro dies we get into like really rapid crowd control yeah zombies and then maybe just the flies already because yeah permanent bombs Bad damage, I lost my spirit heart, but it's okay. As long as we don't take any more, I'm relatively pleased. So we're not going to take the half heart. We're just going to go up to the cathedral. And again, you know, 7 HP. Wow, what a terrible room. 7 HP, I'm feeling pretty good about our, uh, our chances here. Late game or otherwise. We've got a really good combination of items to fight the late game bosses because we have a, a full suite of orbitals and we have bullets that do a decent amount of damage but don't actually cause us to get hit all that often because we don't fire them very quickly. We should use Book of Shadows more often. Uh, that's like one of the things that could end up saving or sinking me on this run is improper use of you know what is actually a really useful item. Also bad aiming. <laughs> bad aiming can cause me some trouble. Well, we could just leave, but I might have to backtrack through here. I don't want to have to fight two greeds again. There we go. All right. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we got some HP. Doesn't have to be high-maintenance HP. Just some standard red hearts. You're sure pennies are fine? I keep picking them up. Single greed. Does he have more HP than he did the first time I fought him? I thought the first time I fought him... I killed him in three hits. I think enemies that are like multi-floor or can show up on multiple floors do scale as you uh, as you get further and further down. But I, that might just be me kind of projecting on the game a little bit. Hey, I didn't expect that to be the secret room. I thought it might be the second secret room, but that actually kind of illuminates for us. Yeah, the more of the floor, which is kind of amazing. Uh, sure, let's do this. How are we going to use Book of Shadows? Frequently. You might say, you know, better to save it till the angel fetuses show up, but we want to make sure, you know, we have nuns have it, so we'll use it as often as possible just so we can get the charges out of it. And Spider Bite totally does synergize with Ipecac. I'm not sure how often we're going to keep him slowed, because we don't shoot very often relative to your average run. Because Ipecac slows your rate of fire so much, but, uh... Still, this is going very well possible we'll only yeah we, we got hit once on this whole fight so we maintained our HP and we definitely have enough keys to open these up anarchist cookbook pills little Chad till I believe for dummies probably one of the worst assortment of items that you could possibly get on the chest now a bottle of pills with nuns having might seem like a dream for Kane but considering we already have like invincibility from book of shadows I think that's a it's a saner choice to stick with if I do say so myself so war is gonna be annoying because uh, when he starts chasing us down, he's going to be difficult to hit. Not sure if that bomb's going to work at all. See? I hate that shit so much. So we're going to put a bomb, like, in his way. Yeah, that just kind of holds him in position. Didn't mean to pick up that half heart, but that's okay. Totally meant to pick up that spirit heart. That wasn't an accident. Might have been a bad play, but if it was a bad play, it was, uh... It was a purposefully... It was purposefully done. So that's just me being bad. The moon, uh, well, more likely to be useful than bombs are key, I suppose. Seems like we end up fighting greed a ton. You know what? Fuck this room. If it's a dead end, why even bother? Alright. Well, at least I don't have to fight them twice, I guess. So that's the shit right there. Get him to eat a bomb, 
and then blast him a couple times with Ipecac in the process. Yeah, that's the problem. I was just going to say, the only problem is the knockback. It's a little redonkulous sometimes. I can't believe he actually ate it there. Okay, watch out for the poop. Oh, snap. Watch out for the poop. Come on now. Watch out for the poop. I would like to stop having to watch out for the poop. If you could perhaps just uh, eat shit and die. Oh, my fucking grain. Look at this. There we go. Finally. Uh, let's hope the boss room's not over there. Uh, we can we can get through that room. And that's what I will try to do, actually. We're just going to have to pop up the shadows. And I would really rather not. This should be easy enough. Oh my god, I fought I fired backwards again. Twice. It's harder to break that habit than you would think. Chester Harris. Well, thank god for the half heart interval at least. So we have to use Book of Shadows here. Oh god damn it. I thought maybe I could just work my way through diagonally. I didn't know what else I could do there except take damage again. We're really lucky we had a Book of Shadows charger here, otherwise we would just be dead. Um, so we need little Chad. Uh, we probably should have picked him up earlier, to be honest. This might be the end of our run. It's been a fun run regardless. And it's been uh, an interesting chest thus far. That's it. I didn't mean to walk into that. Jeez, I'm sorry, but uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll be back with the Vanilla Isaac run next. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.